Hey YouTube, today we're going to talk about why it is that learning your chords is the single most important thing any guitarist can do and anybody that wants to accompany their vocals with guitar. I always say this, that chords are the building blocks of songs, but it seems like nobody wants to learn chords. Everybody hates that part. Everybody's super bored learning all these weird finger things and they end up just looking at tabs online. And then what happens is they uh, they hit a wall. They they start learning all these tabs for all these cool songs and then they're confused like well how do I finger this? Uh, how do I do this? Well that doesn't sound quite right to me. And another thing that happens is then they get together and try and play with a band or someone else and they don't know the exact song somebody else knows or they know it differently because maybe they used a different tab or something and then the problem is there's no way to communicate. They both have to sit behind a computer and just uh, figure each other's versions out. A lot of time goes by. So I'm going to give you some practical examples to why every time that you learn a song by tab, you should also learn the chords. Also, you should just learn chords and many variations of chords, which maybe I'll make another video on because they're pretty important. Because there's open chords, there's uh, bar chords, there's you know six string bar chords, five string power chords, there's all kinds of stuff. So maybe that'll be a separate video, but for now, chords are the building blocks of songs. Anytime you learn a song, learn the chords of the song as well. I'm gonna show you why. So let's just take a, a classical song, right? Let's just take a song like uh, Stairway to Heaven. If you want to play it, it goes like this. There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold and she's buying the stairway to heaven pretty simple classic stairway to heaven there but i could think of a few variations for instance you could do like a sort of deaf leopardish uh, 80s ballad style thing oh and she gets there she knows if the stars are all It's the same notes, it's the same chords, and it's played in a different place. You love this, I didn't play it up here because I know the chords. I can even get crazy, I could get Bob Marley with it. In a dream by the brook, there's a songbird who sings. Sometimes all of our thoughts are misgiving. I can even get all punk rock vibe on you. There's a lady who's sure. All the glitters is gold And she's buying the stairway to heaven You can see how this gives me a lot of flexibility. Now, I know that some of those sounded very silly, but the point is, there's a lot of variations there. Another reason you might want to consider learning all the chords is sometimes it's too hard for you to learn the actual song by a tab because maybe you're new, or maybe because you just don't want to spend the time at the moment. That doesn't mean you should be doomed to not being able to play the song. For example, if I want to play Unforgiven by Metallica, it goes like this. That's pretty hard to sing and play with. But if I just play the four chords underlying... What I feel, what I've known shine through and what I've shown never free never me won't see what might have been or for example here's another song like that Paradise City now that's 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 pretty hard to sing and play with and in fact Axl Rose doesn't play while he sings that. But if he wanted to accompany himself with a guitar, he could just do this. Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Take me home. Alone. Three chords, that's it. And by the way, while we're at it, here's another reason why it's really important. Because I know the chords for Paradise City, I know how to finger the chords. Whenever I'm playing the difficult version, I don't have to think, well, how do I shape my fingers? All I have to do is just know that G goes like this, C goes like this, and 
and then D goes like this. And I can just deduce that the picking pattern is something like this. So, I know it seems annoying. I know it's boring to learn your chords, but once you do it, once you really learn all these chords correctly, you have absolute freedom to improvise, to play, to learn new songs on the spot. It takes me like one minute to learn a song now. Do I know it 100%? No, of course. To properly learn a song, you have to spend hours on it. But to learn a simple version, to play around the campfire, or to uh, just try out in band practice, or if you just want to explore and then maybe later make it your own, you know, rather than learning the tab, you can just uh, learn a simple version and then add your own complexity and intricacy to it. I really hope that uh, this was helpful. I know a lot of people that really, really, really don't want to learn their chords, but I gotta tell you, you should just make it a habit every time you pick up a new tab, also pick up a tab for the chords with it. It'll really help you in the long run, just trust me. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer it. And until next time.